You've had an opportunity to read through uh, the peace uh, agreement, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are some of the key areas that uh, maybe people are focused on? First of all, uh, the agreement um, uh, provides for uh, establishing a transitional government, uh, which of course is made up by largely the two opposing parties, uh, within 90 days. After 90 days, the government of national unity is to serve for 30 months. Within those 30 months, at least 60 days or two months before the expiration of the agreement, they should have been able to come up with a new constitution and be able to carry out elections based on universal suffrage. If, again, there is political will on both sides, this agreement should work because it has worked in other places. But there are also other situations where you have the people appending signatures on a piece of paper. It is an agreement. But when it comes to implementations, it becomes a totally different ball game. Let's talk about uh, the, the role of uh, uh, other regional players. Uh, for example, IGAD, uh, East African uh, presidents. Uh, they played a very significant role for the peace deal. Uh, how much of an impact do you think they had on uh, these uh, two gentlemen? Well, I think they did have because, first of all, they have a lot to lose themselves. We're talking about trade here. So these regional leaders of IGAD have a lot to lose if there is no peace in Ijuba. It is in their interest that there should be peace because they have a lot to gain when there is stability, uh, when there is peace, and of course a lot to lose when there is instability.